Got our official sponsor, Greenwood Stock Trading. If you want to learn how to make some passive income, some extra money, so you can invest in your future and your kids' future, give them a call for a free 10 minute consultation 281 760 3170. Go get to the bag. All right, man. Apparently, Devin Haney, you know, got on his social media and went in on Javante Tang Davis. Appreciate the love and support. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. So, apparently, I mean, I don't know what really sparked this. Now, I did hear Devin Haney kind of imply. He was talking to, uh, I think he was talking to Showtime. After the way, and it's saying, you know, these fighters try to act like him. And I ain't saying no names. These type fighters try to act like him and do everything that he do. And I think he was referring to Devin Haney. I could be wrong. But Devin Haney came back, say, dude, say, I'm soft. But when he see me, he never say or do do nothing. He seen me at Lifetime Fitness and ain't say or do shit. It was just me and you. You got these people fooled, but uh, not me. You ain't never did nothing to nobody in your life. Uh, been in a boxing gym his whole life. Now, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, dog, I was hearing Bonzi in and say, well, Tank got that street shit in him. What that mean? Amir Mansour went to jail, came back, did, you know, did time, came back, and, you know what I'm saying, you know, quit on the stool, a lot of people say. Got his jaw broke on the stool and didn't get back up. So what do street shit got to, got to do, you know, with actual boxing? You know, Floyd was going over to U.K., Telling them that he was in the street uh, handling his work, and everybody knows his dad was in the street doing business. He wasn't doing no business. He one of the greatest fighters of all time. You know what I'm saying? When 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 fighters really in the street, bro, they 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 tend to gravitate back to the street. You know what about the kid uh, out there in Chicago that that passed away? He still was in allegedly still in street shit. Frankie Gomez, one of the more talented boxers you will see. You know, when undefeated, they can never get him out the street to get him in the ring. You know what I'm saying? So I mean that don't that don't be in the street don't 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 mean shit in the ring. It don't mean you tough. It's a lot of it's a lot of punks in the street. Have you seen a street nigga uh fight? A lot of them niggas can't fight. You know what I'm saying? It's just perception that you a street nigga and that validates you as a as 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 a black man. And it, it don't validate shit. You know, working your way out of that shit, it validates you now. And there are some 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 nutrients that come from that. You do get some nutritional value from that. Absolutely. You know, being in the streets, you're able to read body language. You know what I'm saying? You're able to, you know, street, no street smarts, know when something coming, know, know how to, you know, read, read when, you know, somebody, you know, do something or you, you learn some things, you know. You know, you learn some survival tactics that you can take anywhere. But you you would rather not have your, yo, yo, you rather not grow up there. So it, it don't really mean shit. They say, oh, he grew up in the streets. He's tough. He don't really mean nothing, bro. Nigga from the suburbs, you know, y'all getting y'all go one-on-one -on -one in the street, beat your ass. Put you in a sleeper hall, wrestle you. You know what I'm saying? Beat you easy. And it, what do it matter? He from, you know, uh, 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 Woodcrest and you from fucking, you know, uh, uh, Brooklyn or something like that. Or where are you from? It don't mean, it don't mean shit. It's not a bad. It's not a badge of honor, bro. You know, even though you know a, a certain amount of women are attracted to 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 to, to that, I get it. I get it. I definitely get. It. I see that you know rappers glorify. I get it. But you really, you really, you really don't want to be there. Ain't nothing good in the hood, like MC Eight said. You you really don't want to do it, bro. And it's not a badge of honor. If, if Tank Davis can, you know, had grew up a little bit different, he would have done it. He would have wanted to do it. Nothing cool about that shit, dog. And they groom him to have that image, you know, or that little, you know, tattoos and that image is part of his image, but also it's a curve when it comes to sponsorships and brand deals. It become a curse. It becomes a curse. You know, it becomes a curse. You know, but then he goes on to say, uh, uh, Ninja Mama just lived in the hood. That don't make you a street uh, ninja. 
uh, Punani. He said, go get your jewelry back from the L.A. Ninjas if you really like that. And he tagged him on that one. So basically, he basically saying that his jewelry got took. <laughs> your jewelry, you can keep it. That be our little secret. <laughs> So he basically said he got his chain, and that happened a lot in 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 in, 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 in uh, out there in L.A. You know, a lot of people getting extorted across boxing, bro. I'm not gonna get into the Pacific names. This guy's out here getting getting extorted in boxing, and, and you know, like I said before, you know, it is what it is. You know, a lot of people get their chains took. A lot of people get caught lacking. But if you got if you a real street nigga, man, it's hard it's hard for them to jam you up like that. Even when you go out of town, you know, real street niggas know how to move. It's hard for you to it's hard, it's hard for it's hard for that to happen. You know, you know, now robbing your house is different. Ain't nothing you really can do but take precautionary measures, you know, security systems and all that type of stuff, you know, and it's going crazy out there. But you know that if that's the case, that's the case. That's his business. You know, you know. But he want to sit here and he want to keep poking fun at, at, at Devin Haney. It's like the commenter said. The commenter said right here, "Why don't? Why they just? Why they just don't fight it out? Exactly, it's boxing. It don't mean because Devin Haney on the on the front foot and won the fight and Tank ain't. It don't mean that Devin Haney gonna win. Not by any stretch of the means and imagination, but." Like I said, man, these dudes be doing shit on the internet. It's like when him and he ran into. It's like when he ran into Charlo. Y'all remember when he ran into Charlo at the one of the bro ends in Brooklyn, and he walked away, and Charlo was cussing his ass out. He basically ran away. Them dudes, man, he just a troll, bro. He just a, he just a troll. You know, you know, he just a troll, but they should fight it out. They should fight it out. You know, but we already know what it is. They made if they made Ryan Garcia go through uh, go through all of that. What you think, you know, they may what you think they gonna do with uh what you think they gonna do with uh you know uh what you think they gonna do with uh Devin Haney? What you think they gonna do with Devin Haney? You know, so I mean that street shit don't mean nothing. Keep telling y'all that that don't mean nothing, bro. But they arguing out in the sport where y'all can they can actually duke it out and get paid for it. You know, that's the beauty of it. They literally can get in there and get paid for their services, and they can bury the hatchet once and for all about uh, what happened to Sparn or this happened to Sparn and all that. But, you know, but instead of going back and forth about, you know, you know, by seeing you, you seen me, you know, uh, you got your jewelry took in and all that, I mean, shit, you know, that's you know, up to tank. Well, like I said, you know, you know, uh, but, you know, that hip hop black culture shit is the only culture where it's a, it's a badge of honor to uh to 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 to, to you know when a rapper come to your hood to show or a rapper come to a show come to, you know or 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 you know whoever usually rappers come to, come to do a show you know you got to show how tough y'all is by letting them know you know we hood we we get down here like that and snatching their jewelry and and extorting them and robbing them that shit they don't do that when Garth Brooks and and, and, and time, you know, uh, uh, Taylor Swift come to town and no shit like that. That that's crazy to me. 
these dudes want to prove how you know, you know, just like that song by DJ Quick, just like Compton. Everybody want to prove how hard and how how good they hood is, and this is just like real talk. It's just backwards, bro. Like Ice Cube say, every hood's the same. Every hood's the same. You know, but you know they can settle this out like grown men. And get paid for it. It is it is dubbed the gentleman sport. You know, it is the dub the gentleman sport, the ultimate gentleman sport. I may add. So, you know, they can duke it out and get paid for it. But uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially, want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description, hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check out the Box Loose playlist. Peace.